Ladies, gentlemen, esteemed non-binaries, trash can all, good evening and welcome to Trash Tier Gaming. I'm your humble host, Raspa Trash Bear, and today we're getting back into Godelka. Before that we do... Oh, gotta remember to swap it over. I, uh, I have a, another, another little announcement to make. Trashkin. Another big old surge view turned up for the month, and... Mystery first floor. Good grief, I do not remember how I got here. <sighs> yep. Well, long story short, I... I put off linking the video in Ichiro page comments because I, I thought that maybe maybe it wouldn't be cool to link compilations and um, I saw some some pretty good views pop up after linking horse sampler 6 finding out that Itera is a very chill supportive place and um, here we are and I'm both very pleased and a little terrified like I today I, I should have broken or am damn near breaking 1,000 views in a month, that's... that's huge! Uh... So, I'm, I'm glad to see you all work your way to the trash fire, but again, I am... I am flabbergasted. And... beside myself. And again, for, for the second time in as many weeks, make an announcement during... during Kodelka and then the Wild Hearts run. More level, more level. Ah. Let's see. Not you got luck. Hey, more elixir. All right. When the best right. If I remember right, there is a real jokey thing that I missed. Kinda sorta jokey. And I'm still carrying around that... That big old sundry lance for no reason. Alright, out there. Some pistol rounds hidden off screen there. Okay. Oh, I heard mention of something I missed. I'm I'm gonna have to take just a a mom, a momentito uh, to consult the ancient scrolls. Okay, trash kid. After a quick consult of the good old ancient scroll, I uh, realized what I missed and where. At least I think I did. So, uh, I, I, 
turns out I made a, a straight beeline for the encounter there. Oh, we got cutscene. This must be the temple. There's no way! If I put a bullet through it, it wouldn't budge. What are we gonna do? How ironic to have made it this far and not have access to the temple. Kudelka, Edward, you both must go now. It is my friend that is apparently responsible for this disturbance, and therefore I am partially responsible for this trouble. I have no intention of asking for your sympathy, and I'm in no position to plead for your help. So from this point forward, I can manage on my own. Don't kid yourself. We didn't come along just for your sake. No, Kudoka, you should go back now. It'll be far too dangerous. Edward, you're the one who should go home. You were not meant for this world. Granted, you are a good fighter, having had plenty of experience. And I won't deny the fact that you have the killer instinct, either. But when all is said and done, you are an average Joe. I am not. I was meant to exist in this realm. It's the only place I can carve out an existence for myself. Quit lecturing me! I want no part of a lukewarm existence filled with regret. No. My way is to not worry about consequences, and to do whatever it is I want to do. Chance means nothing to me. Life's a gamble, and once you place your bet, you'd better play to win, or else you end up dead. Edward, you really are ridiculous. That's what they tell me. Do as you like. That I will. Oh, suddenly when you feel like it, you decide when you can and cannot open doors? Wait, there's a way. Remember when we were searching Patrick's mansion? There was various chemicals around. It may take some time, but I think I can combine the chemicals to make nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin? That's great! We're talking powerful explosives here. For this door, I think we'll need a full flask. Indeed, if I drop the flask before I return, I'll be knocking on Heaven's door in a flash. It is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or hell. Just be here, did James and Eddie bro out for a second there? Oh, time to change the desk. We'll just wait here in the void until. Ah, there we go. So, we gotta head back for the chemicals in, in the laboratory tree. But, what we missed, I think, is over here. Yes, this is the spot. So, that boss fight can be made a lot simpler. A lot easier on you. I'm gonna make sure I don't got any stray needless items hanging about. Mm, I could talk this little list all in a jam, but should really figure out what that mask heck can do. Got a bottle of acid. Dry food, cheese. I should really work out which the best of those are. Uh huh. We head on up. There's something in the darkness. The room by is like the candle. Lighting the candle used up your last match. I'm pretty sure that tinderbox had more than one match, but okay. Do you want to pick up the item? Yes, yes, you do. You got life drinker. So, this is a unique wacky bat. Necromatic blade that gives the user great power in battle at the cost of his or her life energy, but it also hit real hard. Let's uh, see what that can do for Eddie. Ooh, that's uh, that's a healthy boost to strength and dex, but yeah, it does take a chunk out of your. Your vitality and your luck. Well, what can you do? Reminds me to discard those spares.
Not many accessories for the non-casters. Let's see, we got the the air the horax. Was it horax? Meant to be used in combat. Okay, war axe versus battle axe. Yeah, we, we picked up a battle axe off screen there. Designed specifically for battle. Context clues. Uh, we also went ahead and swapped the mace with uh, Kodelka and. Uh, well, we sought the mace over the Godelka, and uh, we gave Jamie the the evil horn. Boosts uh, Jamie's piety a bit. All right. Well, we gotta work our way back to the lab. Which, unless I miss my guess, is where a very particular and very important speech that that is also uh chock full of sensitive topics will take place I'll, I'll uh I'll be giving a wee bit of a, a heads up beforehand all right bagler take that and well let's let's level up level that up um why not fortify strength? Why not? Yeah, it'll throw the balance off, but me? Now I didn't even get the chance to, so. Alone Z. Unless we hit another level. Seem to be hitting those real steady. Ah, 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 another level. Hmm. Well, we did luck. Let's, let's do the old tune too. Hey, an earth scroll! Terrific, those will come in handy for later. Suppose we don't technically need whiskey now that we have a moderate supply of Roman nuts. How many Roman nuts do it? Yes, 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 Trash King, get it out now. Yeah, yeah, we got 25 whiskey. I can always chuck those if, if need be. I think I'll chuck that in the dried food. I mean, it's handy, but we can always listell our way out of problems. Well, let's, uh, you know, while I'm there, let's check the map real quick. See if I can rationale out a route. Okay, so we break to the right, to the right. Back up. All right. Okay, day. It's just uh, consulting some notes real quick there. Ah, we gotta crank out some nitroglycerin and hope. So many corpses in this manner, I tell you what. I mean, if this doesn't wind up a stigmatized property, I don't know what should. Oh. Yes, this means we're, we're going to be going into another FMV. Step one. Adjust the volume again. And take a minute to put another content warning up. So, Trashkin. Well, I feel the following FMV is one of the most important character, if not the most important character development moments in this game that gives terrific insight into the characters, who they are, what they do, and how they do it, and why. 
it does deal with some sensitive topics. Um, abuse, both <sighs> in child endangerment, despair, depression, overwrought feelings, emotional vulnerability. It's gonna go some places, trash kin. If you do jump in, in editing, I will give you the bypass time code. We'll, we'll, we'll put it up top. But I'm going to give you about half a minute or so to make up your minds. And remember, Trashkin, the, the unwritten rule of horror applies. If at any point, if you do decide to go through, you find yourself feeling not okay, stop. Head back, consult the time code, jump ahead. I won't think less of you if the nightmare fuel turns on you. I've had it happen to me. It's, uh, it's a question of time. It's... As a boy, it, it did affect me as a younger man. Um, not ashamed to say because it was a very heavy, very well-written portion. But if you feel at any point it's not for you... Go right ahead and move on. Um, but I'm definitely with Trans Witch Reviews on this one. I feel it's extremely important to the story. And the characters and their pathos. But it is very, very heavy. It is not harrowing. But if you find your, your sensitive topic of the... Again, abuse, child endangerment, child neglect... And I, I can't stress the, the abuse and the, uh, the implication of S.A. If those are sensitive topics for you, please use the time code. Okay, trash can, I feel it's been enough time for you to make up your minds. We will now proceed. James is in the lab doing his thing, and here we go. I'm going to begin my work. Can you two wait for me here? <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> what happened to the girl, Melanie? <laughs> she was gone the next morning. She left with practically everything in the room. <laughs> You don't have much luck with women, do you? <laughs> well, you know what they say. The cleanest breakup is when a woman runs out on you. What a statement. <laughs> oh, but you're lucky. I mean, to have so many people to kid around with. For me, I'm all alone. I've been all alone all my life. What about your childhood? Yes, I did have a childhood. I was born in a small town in Wales, right off the banks of the Talesian River. It was a small gypsy town. Gypsy? That's right, gypsy. And we didn't call ourselves gypsy. We called ourselves Rom. <laughs> See, a true gypsy is born under the blue sky and is destined to die under the same blue sky. This gypsy law. So then I guess you plan on dying underneath the blue skies. Mm -mm. Every gypsy is given a name at birth. My given name was Slato. Slato? Mm hmm It's got a strange resonance to that name. What does it mean? I can't tell you. <laughs> that too must be part of the law. <laughs> <laughs> the law it is. <laughs> you know, ever since I met you, enigmatic, mysterious glint in your eyes. Mind, it must be the gypsy in you. A glance from thy soul-searching eye can raise with hope, depress with fear. Byron again? <laughs> yeah. 
You must really like him, don't you? Yes. So I feel as though we're birds of a feather. Then he must be self-obsessed as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be classified as a romantic. My father was a strict man and couldn't forgive his son for failing academically. He blamed my failure on the time I wasted inventing adventures, dreaming of a utopian landscape. I was brought up to believe that dreams, the power of the imagination, as well as all the things I loved as a child, were useless, a complete waste of time. It was as if he was telling me I was useless. And again, it may be just that. I think I was probably born too late. By the time I was 15, everything there was to be done had already been done. The western territories were colonized. The jungles had been explored. There was no wilderness for me to wander into. No jungles for me to cut my way through. I guess that's how I ended up roaming the country. And granted, I picked a few fights along the way, played with fire, gambled on my life a few times. But none of that comes close to the truth I'm searching for. I yearn for something far greater. I can't quite explain myself, but it's as though I'm on a quest for some intangible treasure of sorts. Kadok, I envy you. You have psychic powers that few are blessed with. Being born a gypsy, you can choose to live how you wish. And who gave you the right to act as if you figured me out? Do you have any idea how I was raised? <laughs> you make me laugh. Adventures. Please, you haven't the slightest clue. Do you have any idea how much pain my psychic powers have brought me? My father died when I was only a child. I predicted the exact time place and ending of my father's life. Imagine that, predicting your own father's death. Hmm. You know, I was cursed as a child, being given powers not meant for a child. And my mother, oh, she, she was so frightened and so full of hatred for me. She tried to kill me with her very hands. The gypsy elders got together and decided to excommunicate me. I was only nine then. Do you have any idea how a nine-year-old child survives without the help of a living soul? Treasures, you must be joking. Have you ever cried and begged for your next meal? Did you ever sell your body, seeking shelter from the frigid night air? <laughs> I used to be just like Charlotte. When she cried and said, no one has ever loved me. Oh, her words cut straight through me. It was me she was talking about. Just like her, I wish that everybody would die and harbor a hatred for all mankind. But you see, Charlotte has made her peace and <laughs> gone to heaven. <laughs> Me, I'm still alive and still home alone. No one has ever lent a helping hand. No one! Kadoka, you? 
I'm not as free as you make me out to be. I am a poor, dirty, ignorant woman who threw her gypsy pride to the dogs in order to live. But you see, even someone like me can do good. Because with my powers, I can help ease the pain of others. That's when I feel good about living. I don't need to be loved. I just want my life to have some meaning. And just let someone tell me they need me. You. <laughs> no way would you ever understand. <laughs> It's done. It's completed. James has finished his work. You got nitrogus. And all right, trash can, we're back. We are past the heaviest the game has to offer. So, like I said, uh, it also features one of the strongest tracks in the game, Dead, by Kikuta, who, um, oh, it just, mm, that track, that track, Trash Kid. As, as a young man, as, as a, as a, uh, tiny teen rasp. I was deeply concerned I should avoid any and all encounters for fear the nitroglycerin would go off. I also did a little reading uh, during the scene. So, you know, I'm just uh, enjoying the music and, and the, the heaviness of the, the story, which amounts to Edward thought he knew what hardship was. Kodelka explained what hardship was. And... Can't get to the burb. That's fine. That's what magic is for. Tornado. And we may as well uh, prop up, prop up uh, Eddie with James there. Boy, howdy! That design on Evil Horn, hey. Nope. Denada. Although I have to rebalance, rebalance James's stats now. Good glob. Okay. I, I don't think we need to level heal. Perfect balance isn't necessarily required. But it doesn't hurt. Anything good? Oh, so, uh, the mass purpose is it gives you a chance to pull scrolls. Without it, you have no chance of pulling scrolls. Uh, there we go. Back in perfect balance. And near perfect balance.
Oh, but, uh, just, just... I hadn't come across anything that heavy since Silent Hill and, uh, Lisa. You, if you know the scene, you know the scene. If not, we'll get to it, Trashkin. Uh, I ain't gonna spoil that because, oof, just, oof, just, ugh. Oh, that, that Phanatos. I can still see that scene. I will never forget the solution to that puzzle. That has been etched into my mind. I will never not be able to picture that. But, uh, heavy-handed as it is, it, it explains a little more about both Kodelka and Edward. And the thing I like about it is that Edward realizes... I want to hand Eddie a little credit here. Realizes that his friend is sharing their trauma with them. And that he should shut up and listen. And to his credit, he doesn't interrupt. He doesn't refrain or try to reframe anything. He doesn't ask for more detail. He sits there and he listens. Which, you know, sometimes is the correct move, is to, to listen to your friend spill their trauma. And Kodelka... Kodelka explains why she chases things that goes bump in the night, and uh, why she would choose any other life if she had the choice. And the trauma attached. Ooh. Shard and sweet. Do we have another another cutscene? Please, please, I'm really bad at adjusting my levels, game. Oh, there we go. That 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 was the action sequence there. I think that made the back of the cover of the game. Actually, let me check. Oh. It's amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tree of Life. Well, I feel the corruption of. Ah, uh, yeah, this is where my first attempt faltered. I believe. But yeah, without the stone mask from, uh, from uh, Ogden and Bessie's. You have no chance of picking up scrolls, which are already real chancy as it is. I seem to have gotten real lucky with my pulls, but... I didn't see that mentioned anywhere else, but it's in the Wikipedia, and Fex for Life wouldn't steer me wrong. Well, most of the time. Every now and again, you know. Uh, let's see. Yep. And... A game? I think that's game. Yep. I could be doing more of guns at this point, but I think they're strength-based, and uh, I did not spec for that. <laughs> Why not give the caster a gun? They can stand in the back row and rain bullets on things. Followed by, why is the damage terrible? Followed by, oh, it's spect, spect for strength. Ah. There are marks under the casket. It must have been dragged. Alright. Uh, yeah. 
There we go. In Oregon. Well, we see a pipe hook and our friends carved into the keys. It looks like there are only four keys that can be pressed. The runes on these keys read People, Secret, Pain, and Light. Secret People, Light, Pain. Okay. People, pain, light, secret. Yep. All right. Let's let's go. Uh, pain, secret, light, people. All right. Let's go look for a clue. I can probably brute force it, but why? Though I'm willing to bet there's a little be a be a smackdown for it. Alright, step on down. Step on up. This looks like a fight section if I've ever seen one. Looking beyond the stained glass, you see a sheer cliff rising up from the ocean. The tree of life has stopped. I don't see any stained glass, but okay. Well, I suppose head that away. Oh. One-legged golem. I don't even have a joke prepared for that. Well, I guess let's keep the sword skill grinding. Seems like a great thing to use geyser on. But I'm gonna use tornado anyway. a double up just in case nope well let's see if James gets lucky James gets lucky sure that should wipe the board with him but there we go mm -hmm. wait oh we've been silenced all right I'll just guys are that one in the next Tuesday as well So, uh, the mask doesn't have a use beyond guaranteeing you a chance for scrolls, but it's real important if you're going to go after, uh, some, uh, some specifics. Let's see, level up. Alright, we got the balance going. Uh, and for a one into luck, because why not? Alright, so we, we did agility, we've done vitality, uh, 
We'll, we'll, we'll do another split level. Alright. We'll do a split level and get everything in balance there. There we go. I know I haven't been balancing eddies, but... Marks underneath the casket, it's been dragged. Oh, yeah, but. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna need to puzzle this for a minute, Trashkin. Excuse me. Okay, Trashkin. I take the Dunce Prize. Um. Secret Pain People Light. We were handed the solution. Hours ago. Secret pain people liked. First second. Heller got off the thief, I think. I do not recall. I have the game rightus again. But yeah, you're literally handed the letter with the solution. Pipe over and sounds with a reverberating note. And the casket slides out of the way. Progreso. Sweet, sweet Progreso. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, uh, you think games control rough now? <laughs> Let me show you some titles, Trashkin. Let me tell you about the days of Tink Control. Oh. What are you doing? What's that? No, don't! I'm not asking for your help. This is my problem. None of you need to die with me here. Cauldron of Life, oof. Well, you know, James is ready to, to kick the bucket. If you throw Daniel's arm and call upon the power of fire, you wish to throw Daniel's arm in. I feel I'm going to be creating a side save, so yeah. Sure. Let's proceed. St. Daniel Scotius, protect us from these evil spirits and grant us inner strength. Amen. Thou, who were created and born out of dust, now go quietly and return to thy maker! Dude! James got the fire in him! It's not sure if it's the righteous designed or, uh. the wanting destruction variety. But yeah, this, this is a point of no return. 
and a deadlock if you don't have the locket on you. Excuse me, the amulet. Well, that's the first time we got in yellow, but I suppose it makes sense with the flames. All right, Golem boy, let's go. Oh, we finally get a double out of the fire sword and it breaks. I don't know what paralysis is ashing for, but okay. Wait, what am I doing fire for? Uh... Guys are it. Yeah, why not make a lift it? We one shot the remaining. Remember, right? This can be some very rough going if you're not prepped. We should be fairly well prepped, but there are a few things I want to go after. Nothing else. I can take a moment and show you guys what the deadlock looks like. I mean, we here. We may as well. We'll go agility. Boy, howdy, that armor do provide. Hmm. We're, we're gonna give you vitality, buddy. You're gonna need it. Vite up idol. And a rod. Oh. That's that's a hell of a to do. There's vitality up. Uh, yeah. Let's let's do Kodelka. Uh, let's see. Equipmento. Let's pull the rod. Ooh. That's that's a fair upgrade with a slight cost of vitality. Uh happily. Which means I no longer have a use for, for that for that uh that mace, I don't think. Alright, so mystic knuckles which are fine, but don't inflict damage, they inflict steel MP. Uh the vital spear might not be bad. Uh James, excuse me, Edward can probably make great use of the, the various firearms. Axes all come at a cost. Ogden's, which hits probably the hardest. The Gargoyle Killer, which has the best stats, but I uh, have plans for later. Drinker. Uh, we'll go with the Earthen Battle Axe. Oh, it's not the amulet, it's the pendant. Uh, get it right, Rasp. Yeah, this tower. There is an enemy that's supposed to drop the pendant every time. But not if you already have it in. Oh, we got Forns. Alright. Alright, take the far side. Ooh, that rod is very stylish. 
I feel like Earth Element's not gonna be my friend here, but... Heck. Okay, I'm not getting batted into next Tuesday, but this is gonna be a little rougher. Plants are weak to fire. I don't know what... I don't know what weighs up anymore, Trashkin. Resilient. Wait, what am I doing? Why would I move? <laughs> and of course the tree cuttings are magical. Two for one sale! Nice! Which does unfortunately mean they're ganging up, but... Oi! Center and hopefully that splash damage does some work. There we go. The nice thing about them stacking up is it makes life a lot easier. Fight in mind. Okay. Um. I guess I'll throw those all on Kodelka. You you can apparently raise your 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 formidability quite easily at this section. I uh didn't know that as a kiddo. Is the only one that came out with any damage from that? Huh! Well, just to send this flaming tower and hope. Up. Oh, uh, puppeted corpse, huh? Well, that's that's a disturbing trend in zombieism. You've got to be kidding me. Just every swing, man.
Yeah, if there's there's a save available this side, I'm definitely doing the side save. Because at this point, I think I'm locked into an ending. Alright, that's one drop. Alright, hopefully we connect this time. Nope. Nope. Okay, that tears it. We're going with air. Busting my fire soda. Freaking stone golem. drop oh hey what do you know maybe we'll connect this time okay they're immune to earth lesson learned it just misses every time Man, it's bad enough to wind up serving in this neck of the woods, or a victim of Patrick, but a victim of Patrick's, Patrick's mad science, slash alchemy, slash cabalism, and being puppet around as a corpse, that's, that's just mean. Maybe we'll connect this time. Okay, lesson learned, this, this battle axe is worthless. In this specific situation. I mean, it all counts towards, I think, leveling axe, but. <laughs> Another thing, I wonder what, what Eddie's axe and sword skills are these days. I sincerely bet these guys only drop idols. So we haven't pulled anything else in. Well, they definitely can provide. Alright. Balance the... Oh, okay. So there's... Tell him what that drops. Alright. Mm hmm. Luck and piety. Uh, well, let's... Let's throw the piety doll at Kodelka as well. I'll leave those. Okay, so piety's 81 now. <laughs> I've completely disbalanced everything now. Huh. Everybody keeps gaining levels and, and healing between fights. Go figure. Oh, hey, some spare rounds. Yeah, sure, why not? Don't want one of those baking off. Probably missed that as a kiddo. Remember, right? There's a... Boss before the finale. Sworn. Was my memory do me a betrayal? Hey, it's back to normies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Earth's not going to do us any favors against the Golem, but let's find out. Ah, I should have swapped that out. <laughs> Hey, 
But any earth is effective against you! Freeze even prettier. Punch, all right. And heal. Oh! Okay, that will do. Now it's time to put that Earth Axe away before I get myself into some real trouble, Trashkin. Two spare, so we'll pump those into agility. Uh, we'll, we'll continue with our slight improvements. A glaive. Okay, I'll take it along. Why not? Oh no, we, we slipped straight to the finale, did we? You feel a pulse in the plant. Previously steady, it suddenly picks up pace until it feels as though the plant will explode. This, this is what I was talking about with the pendant. So if you don't have the pendant, it will just, just murk you straight out. Yeah, you, you just get corpsified here if you don't have that. Oh, I was not able to note the Tree of Life on her, on, on my terrible CRT. straight into the boss fight? It's so weird because I remember fighting Patrick's corpse. I remember being annoyed I was fighting Patrick's corpse. Eh? Well... Oh, I accidentally zipped past the temp safe. Whoops. Earthclave. Ah. Uh. Let's see, we got the air axe, the water axe. Yeah, let's go with the water axe. Why not? Feeling cut up with you. Oh god! Feeling's <laughs> corpse? Okay. Showtime, Trashkin! <laughs> Fortify strength. Mm. 
Go for it. Okay, the axe is just real inaccurate. Oh boy, this is not going to be pleasant. Okay. Uh, what if I dex? Next round, you're on heal duty. That piano riff. gonna be rough. I might have jumped the gun. How am I doing on MP? Okay, we, we doing fine. I mean, his axe skill's impeccable, we just, we're just having no luck. I put reflect on him, but I'm afraid what will happen. <laughs> After the last time, I still have a little anxiety about that. So external area, you can move freely back and forth. But, it's pretty much a final grind set. Oof. It's gonna be a real rough day for Eddie. Fortunately, we have a big pile of support in B, so... Alright, wait. I still got no means of healing. Other uh, than Panacea for, for poison. Alright, uh... Oh, let's keep the flare bus going. Yeah, yeah, it looks looks like mundane weapons can't do jack. And James. Right, here we go again. I am officially in uncharted territory, Trashkin. Oh, this is gonna be a hell of a fight. At least wanna get an attempt in. Don't wanna have to split split an episode. Alright, wait. You just keep burning it. I feel, I feel I'm never going to connect by attacking, but I got nothing else to do with James, or nothing else to do with Eddie. I mean, we're hitting hard. But this thing is a tank. Rough. 
Woof. Like the the head arch was we got. Okay, that was enough for this phase. Okay, I gotta take a minute and regroup. Okay, regroup it. Alright. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. <sighs> well, shit, I got no better ideas. Let's, let's try Earth Drinker. Alien caught up with you. The second phase? Oh boy. This, this is gonna be a real rough, Trash King. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Ooh! Life Drinker can do some work. Okay, that's gonna speed things along considerable. Glad I didn't blow that on a boss fight. Oof. This this is gonna be rough going. Uh hmm. Fire is no longer our friend. Kind of glad I rounded out the magic options. All right, we completely undid all that work that that Edward just did. Okay. I think it's untype for that, so. All right, you're me that. Let's try Geyser. If every time she has a new immunity, that's that's going to be really really rough. I might have deadlocked myself. No lie, Trashkin. I have no idea if I can I can pull a fast one. It's not a lot of damage, but it's enough. We're, we're just chipping ever so slowly. <laughs> Poison effect's gonna be a pain. Alright, we tried we tried that. Let's let's see how you like Megalith. Okay, it doesn't hit much harder. Oh yeah, boy, am I gonna be in a bind when Life Drinker finally gives out. Guess let's try tornado. Maybe, maybe the the immune to slides with the weakness as well. Who knows? Ah, okay, immune to wind as well. Got it.
Oh, this is going to be so rough. I didn't make it this far, Trashkin. I had no idea what I was in for. Okay, I think that means she's low on HP. That's the time to press. Fortunately, we got a big bag full of Listel. Well, that's a funky angle. Is that all you had? Oh. Alright. Weird how Geyser does ice. Just saying. It's not what I think of when I think of a geyser. Was it in not uh, yep. Okay, she retreats when she's low on HP. We we have in-game indicators. Good. Okay. We we are a little low on the tank, but we can afford to leave that. The best theme in the game, right there. Twice kissed. <sighs> Spider butterfly nightmare. Okay. Okay, deep breath. Oops. Oh, well, well there it comes to us. Okay. Let's see if Flare's our friend again. If we've got a guess. Alright, we'll, we'll start with Fortify Strength. Okay. Not great damage. But it's something. Pray she can't one shot us. Oh, no, but close. Dexterity. I was gonna level that up, but hey. It's 
got to keep this train on the tracks. Okay, priority heals are definitely going Eddie's way. Okay, it's a snap boost and at this point he's polishing brash on the Titanic. Fortunately, Life Drinker should pad us a little bit. Kinda got an executioner sword thing going on there. Gotta take a turn, gotta pump the heels. Okay, fortunately everybody gets a turn. Try my luck with Geyser. Uh, but I'm supposed to be healing. Well, I didn't get knocked back that time. That's a good sign. Oh, I feel like I'm just chiseling away at a mountain top. Word. Good job, dude! Way to stick the defense! Hot damn! I love you. I feel like I'm gonna wind up equipping Eddie with a shotgun and hoping. Wait, what am I doing? I've gone delirious, Trashkin. Alright, wait. Um... This, this feels like it's gonna be a battle of attrition. This is a grim nightmare, is what this is. Oh, it got worse. Yep, yep. And he needs them heals. <laughs> Unfortunately, Life Drinker is still propping us up. Still don't feel like I understand casting speed, but... Edward, they picked up some skill with a sword while we weren't looking.
Alright, prop yourself up, James. Priest, heal thyself. E. Shame I can't bait Elaine's body into to swinging every turn, but... Wait. Alright, Flare. Don't want to let the MP run dry, but... The cycle is vicious. Definitely not the hardest fight I've been in. Definitely nerve-wracking. Yep, wait. Smack her! <laughs> Alright, wait. Oh, yep, you're doing the sweep again. Oh, no, needles, okay. That That's more better. That's, that's one chunk of damage I can deal with. Like, I like how the, the enemy stance tells you what's coming. Life Drinker really takes some of the bite out of this fight. Uh oh. Oh, okay, you just set us back a couple of turns. Prop yourself up, buddy. Fine, we lose a little progreso, we gain a little progreso. The RNG giveth and taketh away, Trashkin. This is nothing new. Alright, wait. Poisoned. Oh, here we go again. Alright. Alright, fortunately, James is on heal duty. Alright, move up. Smack her so we can prop ourselves up. Double heal round. I kind of wonder what the crossbow will be like for Freddy, but at the same time, I don't want to spend every other turn reloading. <laughs> Okay, hopefully I haven't imperiled James, but... Nice! Well, we shaved off most of that heal. Alright, wait. Oh, please just be another attack. There's another heal, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, thank God. Slide up. Alright. 
I guess I'll empirical Doka this time. <sighs> so nerve wracking. I know that means James is gonna get knocked over if it's another group attack or attack against him, but. Oh, wait, 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 Kodelka. Kodelka will get knocked, knocked the heck out. <laughs> oh, think Glob. I just lost more progress, that's all. Gonna be slow going. Um, yeah. Just be she getting faster. Unfortunately, we are well fortified. Just, uh, keep everyone propped up. Fortunately, we got that pile of soup. Set up, do our thing. Just keep waiting for Life Drinker to break on us. You know, I don't like weapon durability as a role, but I've kind of made my peace with it here. Like, it does add a certain tension to, to every physical attack. I still don't like that, but I can respect the choice here. It's, it's better handled than most weapon durability systems, I suppose. Even though it's frustrating as hell to not know when it's gonna give out. Oh. I think we got her real nervous. She's, she's healing a lot. Just keep James on heal duty. Keep chipping away. This is how you fall a titan, Trashkin. Just have Eddie heal himself.
Good lord, I feel like I'm gonna go up a magic level just in this fight. Pop yourself up, James. Nice! Oh, and we leveled up sword! Of course! Longest fight in the dang game right here. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go again. for a high push on James, we'll have James heal Kodelka. I think he can stand to be in danger for a second. Oh, Kodelka's got near instant cast. We'll, we'll have Kodelka pop up, Kodelka. Healing again. Yep. Ooh, self sustaining bosses are a pain. All right. All right, everybody back in the fight. Is my MP doing? MP doing just fine, okay. Oof. This fight. This heckin' fight. <laughs> Take that HP, thank you. crank out close to 3,000 a turn. A little better, a little worse, depending. Oh, 
hill's getting real annoying. <sighs> okay, hang on, let's burn some scrolls. Now isn't any time to use Charlotte's book. I don't know when it is. Well, that helps. Alright, wait. May as well burn the scrolls I have. Did that? Yeah! No wonder they were healing! We did it! Now before anybody gets upset, this is not the true ending. But I wanted to go for it the second I learned about it. to sleep just yet. <laughs> hey, Kudelka. I wonder what she was about to say. Dead people don't speak. It's just in your memories. Huh? Is that how you explain what we just saw? I guess. Memories. Somebody told me that after a loved one's death, all we have is memories. In these, we maintain an eternal bond with the dead. Well, boy, howdy, Trashkin. Want to finish? I kid. We we got one more indie to go for, and the the jokingly named worst indie. But yeah, this is in a lot of ways my favorite weird RPG, or at least amongst them. Ah, uh, let's dial back that volume a bit. Kikuna! Way to go, dude. Movie and event director, producer, scenario writer, music composer. Dude just really wanted to make this game happen so much. And it shows. Um, so, to, to organize my thoughts a little. Kikuna made one game and then went back to composing for video games and still does. Like, he did Indivisible, a, a bunch of stuff, you know. Like, Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana is probably my favorite chunk of his work because I... I can't not hear Always Together and In the Thick of It in the back of my head sometimes. We ran way... Way, way over this time, Trashkin, but I'm fine with it. Uh, we, we hit the ending I meant to hit first. I wasn't sure I was leveled enough for it, but turns out, yeah, with a, a little stick with itness, we got there. We're not done by any stretch, Trashkin. Because next time, we're gonna go for the true ending and fight the gargoyle. I just feel a little embarrassed I didn't get Sakhnoff, or Sakhnoff the, the sword, which isn't going to help us with the true ending. The true ending's not hard to get. Well, 
but it is it is better for the old pathos. I look. I'm, I tell you, I tell you. When I learned about the true ending, at first I was deeply confused and annoyed and wanted to go go beat the final boss because I didn't like I didn't like the true end at first. And then I grew up and I'm like. The true ending made me like James. <laughs> oh, Trashkin, Trashkin, Trashkin. Whew, I am, I am hyped. Got the jitters. I at least want to sit through these credits. Bask in, in accomplishing something I expected to be a lot harder than it turned out to be. I I was honestly expecting to spend like a month ramping into going after that end and then going after the true ending. Dead. Oh, they had breakdowns for the individual plan. That is such a nice consideration. I don't see that very often. Very often you just get like the composer and the performance artist for like voice and that's it that that is that is very very considering something i'd like to see normalized oh the localization team daisuke atsa takaki ishikawa Marika Shinba, Kyoshi Asai. Like, if you watch these credits, like, like Kikuda is gonna come up a lot. Infogrames. Again, I don't like Infogrames because they ate Atari and then ran around in its skin and uh, they killed Blood too. No, seriously. If you want to know about Blood 2, go watch Civi 11. I, uh... I don't know near as much about it as Civi. But, uh, Civi can tell you why and has suffered through that game specifically. And having seen Civi suffer through it, I almost don't want to go back in. I, I was bad at build shooters beforehand. I never got any better, like... Like, it was one of going, hey guys, this game isn't quite ready. Here's where in the development process we'd like to be before we even think about releasing it. We really want to keep working on this. Then infograms, because they're being bought out, etc., etc., just shipped it. It's like, ah, God, why? The closest thing I can relate it to is, like, for modern... Uh, the closest thing that pops to mind is actually, uh, Redfall for me. I'm like, oh, Arcane was hoping they'd cancel. Oh, no. Alright, well, there, there he is, Trash King. There he is. Oh, gonna dump me to menu? Okay, game. Okay. Well... That's gonna do it for this episode. I ran an hour over to get that ending. <laughs> okay, I know to schedule a good chunk of time next time. Fortunately, I can just zip us through that. We got a save ready to go near the end. And with relative access to, to everything we need to do. We, we got most of the secrets. I didn't do Roger's cane, but there wasn't any need. Uh, so, I hate to cut this off. So, as per usual, Trashkin, likes, comments, and subscriptions all help us out. They keep the trash fire burning brightly and make it easier for other Trashkin to find their way to the trash fire. If you haven't already, if you do have to depart us, Take a minute. Make sure to help yourself to another snack and another drink for your walk home. Don't forget to have a good stretch. It's a long walk home. 
Prepare yourself for that ending, Bob. I've been your humble host, Rasp of Trash Bear. And until next time on Trash Tier Gaming, thanks for making it a chill time around the trash fire. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me babble to myself as I desperately try to beat a boss. And, uh... Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one, Trashkin. Holy shit, we did it! <laughs>